world. It's already happening. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Whoa. Look at those raindrops. The kids quiet. Hello everybody. Welcome to our science experiment. And this is the kids quiet. I'm Ife. And I'm Yanchi. In our prefix experiment, we saw baking soda and vinegar producing an amount of carbon dioxide gas. In this experiment, we're going to see carbon dioxide gas being produced from baking soda and vinegar. We will also see density occurring in this experiment. Now, let's get on to it. All we need for this experiment is baking soda, vinegar, vegetable oil, margarine spoon, and thin coloring. Don't forget your mixing spoon. The first step is to put five drops of food coloring into the vinegar. The next step is to put 30 milliliters of baking soda into the empty glass. is to put the vinegar with food coloring into the same glass. Well, it's already happening. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Whoa! Look at those raindrops. They look so cool, don't they guys? Yeah. Oh. It's like the it's like the water cycle is happening in front of our eyes. Especially for you, this one. Guys, check it out! Guys, as you can see, the vinegar has a higher density than the vegetable oil. So when we poured it into the mixture, it sank to the bottom and reacted with the baking soda. The carbon dioxide gas had formed into bubbles and they rose to the top. But since the carbon dioxide bubbles contained vinegar, the vinegar sank back down to the bottom and the endless life cycle continues. This experiment makes me want to say habitat.